Hi, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, we are going to learn Class 12 Mathematics, Chapter 5 Continuity and Differentiability in that derivative of standard function and algebra of derivative. First, let us see derivative of standard function. In the last video, we have discussed the derivative of any function we write as dy by dx. Suppose if you have a function y is equal to fx, then the derivative of that function we can write as f dash y or dy by dx. Now here in this table, I have taken some of the standard function derivative. So first here x to the power n. The derivative of x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1. That means suppose if you have, let us say that you have x to the power 5. So the derivative of x to the power 5 is 5 into x to the power n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 that is x to the power 4. Similarly x square. So the derivative of x square is 2 into x 2 minus 1 that is x to the power 1 so 2x. So like this way we can find the derivative of these polynomial function. So x to the power n derivative is n into x to the power n minus 1. Next. The derivative of a variable, if you have a variable just x, then the derivative of the variable is 1. Then if you have a constant, let us say that you have just 2 or 3, all these values are known as constant values. So the derivative of constant is 0. Then we have here trigonometric functions. The derivative of sin x is cos x, cos x is minus sin x, tan x is sec square x, cot x is minus minus cos x square x, sac x is sac x into tan x, cos x is minus cos x into cot x. Then log x derivative is 1 by x and e to the power x derivative is same that is e to the power x. So about these two things we are going to study in the coming videos. So I am not going to explain this. So these are the derivatives of trigonometric functions and then polynomial functions and then here we have the logarithmic function. So that is about the derivative of standard function. Now let us see algebra of derivative. Algebra of derivative, here we have five rules related to algebra of derivative. The first rule is d by dx of k into fx is equal to k into d by dx of fx. That means, for example, let us say that we have a function 2x cube. In this case, see this 2 is a constant. So that if we take as a k, then how to find the derivative of such functions? So to find the derivative of this, that is d by dx of 2x cube, first I need to take this 2 out. Here we have k we have to take out from this. So to find the derivative of this, we have to write like this way. Similarly, here we have a constant 2. So 2, if I have to take out, then d by dx of x cube. So this derivative I can easily find by using this formula, x to the power n is equal to n into x to the power n minus 1. Because we know, just now we have discussed, the derivative of x to the power n is this one. So if I apply this, I get here 3 into x to the power 3 minus 1, which is 2. So 2 into 3, 6, 6 x square. So, if you have these kind of functions, then the derivative you can find by taking the constant value out and then applying the derivative to the remaining function. So, that is d by dx of k into fx is equal to k you have to take out, then derivative of fx. Next, second rule, d by dx of fx plus gx is equal to d by dx of fx plus d by dx of gx. Means, if you have two functions and in that case, if you have a sign plus in between those two functions, that is nothing but the addition of the function, then to find the derivative of such function, you can split and write. That means instead of finding the derivative together, you need to consider each function, you need to take the individual function and you need to find the derivative of that. So here d by dx of fx you need to find plus d by dx of gx you need to find and then you need to add those two function derivative values. For example, see here I have taken one function fx as x square and gx function as sin x. Now, to find the derivative of this here, we can separately take the value that is this is one function. So, find the derivative of x square, then next find the derivative of sin x. So, derivative of x square is 2x, derivative of sin x is cos x. 
So like this way you can find the derivative. Next we have the third rule. This is similar to the second rule. Here we have a minus sign. So we have your two function fx and gx. So derivative of fx minus gx is equal to d by dx of fx minus d by dx of gx. Next we have the fourth rule which is known as product rule or Leibniz rule. The rule is derivative of fx into gx. This is nothing but the product rule. We call this one as a product rule. Here two functions are multiplied. If you have two functions then to find the derivative of that we have this rule. The rule is that write the first function as it is. Find the derivative of the second function plus write the second function as it is then find the derivative of the first function. See here we have in between these two things we have a plus sign. So you can even interchange this formula and write that doesn't make any difference. Here instead of taking the first function as it is you can first find the derivative of first function and then multiply that with gx. Then again you need write here fx then next find the derivative of the second function. So in that way also you can change the order. Changing of the order is here doesn't matter because here we have a plus sign. So that is about the product rule. Now let us see how to apply this product rule or even this product rule you can write in short form. For example let us say you have two function u and v. u is fx and v is gx. Then in short form I can write this as uv derivative is equal to u into v derivative plus v into u derivative. In this way, in this way also you can write this formula in short form. So now here let us uh, apply the product rule. Here I have taken one function x to the power phi tan x. See here actually we have two functions. One is x to the power phi and another one is tan x. So if I take this as fx and this as gx or if I take this as u and this as v then you apply this product rule. So we get here write the first function as it is. So x to the power phi then derivative of the second function that is d by dx of tan x plus write the second function as it is. So tan x into find the derivative of the first function. So d by dx of x to the power phi. So here we get x to the power phi tan x derivative is x square x plus tan x then x to the power phi derivative is phi into x to the power 4. So here we get the answer x to the power phi is x square x plus phi tan x x to the power 4. So like this way you can apply the product rule to any of the problem based on this particular value. Next we have quotient rule. The quotient rule is derivative of d by dx of fx divided by gx. If we have two function where gx is not equal to 0 because if gx is equal to 0 then this function is undefined. It is not possible to define this function. So you have to consider this condition also gx is not equal to 0. So derivative of fx divided by gx is equal to derivative of that is gx second function gx into derivative of fx minus fx into derivative of gx divided by gx whole square. See here there is a minus sign you can't change the order here. Here we have the second function first then you need to write the denominator you need to write as it is then you need to write the derivative of the numerator. So you can't here interchange this first you can't write fx and then you can't find the derivative of this denominator that is not possible whereas in the case of product rule we can just interchange the order because there we have a plus sign here we have a minus sign so you need to write this as it is so this is the quotient rule and this quotient rule even you can write in short form that is see I have taken two function u is equal to fx and v is equal to gx now if I apply this then we get here u divided by v whole dash is equal to v that is denominator value v into u dash minus u into v dash divided by v square. So this is the short form of the formula that is the quotient rule even in the textbook also they have given the values in this way. So now let us see how to apply the quotient rule to the given problem. So you have taken sin x divided by cos x. So here we have two function fx is sin x and uh, gx is cos x or if I take in this way u we can take as sin x and v can, we can take as cos x. So now you can apply the here you can apply here quotient rule. So the quotient rule is see gx that is the denominator value here we have the denominator cos x so cos x into the derivative of the numerator value. 
so the derivative of the numerator that is d by dx of sin x then minus minus you need to write the numerator value as it is so sin x into the derivative of the denominator that is cos x so d by dx of cos x divided by b square that is denominator square so cos x square so here we get cos x into derivative of sin x is cos x then minus sin x derivative of cos x is minus sin x divided by cos square x so here we get cos square x plus minus minus plus so plus sin square x divided by cos square x this is equivalent to 1 by using the trigonometry formula so 1 divided by cos square x so by this way we can apply the quotient rule so the quotient rule is d by dx of fx divided by gx is equal to gx into derivative of fx minus fx into derivative of gx divided by gx square where gx value is not equal to 0 so this is about the algebra of derivative if you like this video please like and subscribe also click the bell icon to get regular notification thanks for watching